You've got on this morning. Is it? Yeah. Not green, and it's not seasoned. It's about halfway. It's about is six it? months to a year old. Yeah. And is that what you try and get all the time off season? Yeah. It's yeah. too green. It won't cut cleanly because it, the fibres of it will fur out. It'll be too yeah. Fluffy. If it's too dry, it will be brittle. And instead of cutting the fibres, it'll pluck them out. And you'll, you'll get to a degree on some of these holes. You can see there's a little bit of, sort of pecking. Looks like it's been pecked. Tiny little dimples in it, which is where the fibres have been plucked out. Yeah. It was probably slightly too dry. But there's never a perfect piece of wood. Just do with what you got. But that's the that's how it, that's what I'm looking for. Wood that's not too old and not too new. And with no knots in it, possible. And you were saying you do taught, you'll do courses for people. Uh, yeah, teach people bowl turning all aspects of beam woodwork, whether it's spindle turning for stool making or treen for spatulas or hurdle making or all sorts and um, from beginners to people who want to do something a bit more advanced. And you're on the beautiful Penpont estate. Right, on the Bracken and Sunny Bridge on the A40. Lovely part of the world, lots of good trees. Your bodging pole, what's the what's that made this, of? This is made of large. Yeah. It's a little bit short, but I needed to keep the space in here, but ideally it'd be a bit thicker, a bit longer. That would mean when I put my foot down, it would just come up a bit faster, so I'd be able to get more pellets right. in per minute and get a faster bottle. Do you get a housemaid's knee in your foot we going up and down in your knee? Yeah, I wake up in the night <laughs> legs moving up and down. Yeah, it's, it's easy going really. Yeah. It's all downwards work, so it's not yeah. Yeah. climbing the stairs, but gently.